Your show is such a great celebration. Everyone is so happy, throwing flowers, cheering. Uh, what were your thoughts about this collection? I am very happy of that collection. I think I did my, my best in some way. I was very excited, you know, because it's the first time I do a collection of couture without doing pret-a-porter. So I have a little more time. So I have more time to think. And I was thinking, what should I do that time? But I was thinking that what is couture? Couture, it's also to sell a lot of uh, wedding dress. And I was saying, but how are the wedding dress? Me, I always did wedding dress that was a little provocative and like a joke, you know. So I was thinking like maybe that time, maybe I try to make like wedding dress which are a little like more like a up to date uh, dress, you know, why not? You know, why not like to have some dress uh, for the wedding that after you can wear, you know? So I was thinking about masculinity, femininity, like uh, uh, morphing of like uh, uh, furo on the tulle, you know? I was like, uh, so it was all about like uh, creativity around that and how to marry now. So you can uh, say yes in 60, 61 way. anniversaries, wasn't it? The wedding anniversaries. Yeah. So that is like a good connection, you see, at the right moment. And also I saw that, uh, but some, some parts reminded me a little bit of a funeral in a way. Because sometimes there is a divorce. <laughs> it's the end of the love, but it's the beginning of a new one. It's always like that, you know. So it's good, like that you can sell more, a wedding dress. <laughs> if you divorce, perfect, like that. No, I make a joke. But sometimes it was no, I mean like uh, sometimes you know black and white. Uh, the black is always like uh, people see it like something like macabre and like uh, uh, you know death. But in reality black, white. Uh, in some country the white is like death. So you know it doesn't mean anything. So I use a lot of white but a lot of black and a lot on some other color which was like skin color on like a, uh, so flesh color on like also the red on like the blue like the turquoise you know which was an allusion to uh, the uh, one that was wearing Anna Cleveland was an allusion uh, to uh, Elizabeth Taylor that married seven times. So you can marry seven times. So it was a seventh dress or eighth dress now such an influence to the people growing up in the 80s and 90s like me. A huge influence about risk taking, about being yourself. Uh, did you have any inspirations or influences when you were growing up like that to become uh, the great fashion designer you are today? Of course I have influence. I have influence when I, I was admiring at the time Saint Laurent and Cardin. And I was very lucky because I, uh, come on, I, uh, I went uh, the day of my, uh, I send and my 17 years old to all the couturiers some sketches and I received the day of my birthday of the, my 18 Pierre Cardin that make me go and uh, start to work. I didn't go to for school for that, you know, so uh, I did like that. So of course I had like influence of Saint Laurent and uh, what did Saint Laurent before influence me and uh, what did Cardin also influence me uh, of the past of fashion, uh, 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 all the couturier influenced me, but also people from the street influenced me. And my influence are very multicultural and multi-social. We love your collection today. It was absolutely fantastic. Such a good vibe as well. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. If you enjoy it, I enjoy it. I love it.